Hey! How are you guys doing tonight? That was for the people at home. You weren't supposed to answer that here. It's okay, no, that was great enthusiasm. We do have a great show for you guys tonight. We have, I'm gonna call him NFL legend, Super Bowl champion, Grant Wistrom is here. Yeah. We also have the music of Jaron Myers. Yes! And boy, do we have a great title sponsor. Feed One, you can feed a child for $10 a month. Feed one child for $10 a month through a great organization called Feed One. Have a look at this commercial we made for them. You know, the mock turtlenecks is the only article of clothing that in the name describes how you'll be treated while wearing it. Some people say you can tell if a woman has had plastic surgery by looking at her hands. I say you can tell by looking at her plastic surgery. You know, it's impossible to sound intimidating while saying the word mittens. Did you know you can feed one child a month for just $10 with Feed One? Feed One. Oh man, this is a good night. It's a wonderful night. Spring's back. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, finally, right? Woo! Love is in the air. <laughs> you may not have heard that at home. One guy who might be in the balcony or something just goes, yeah! <laughs> if you want to find love, find me in the balcony. <laughs> I encouraged him. Uh, Dave Smith, my sidekick's over here. There he is. How are you, Dave? I'm doing fine. Feel good. Beautiful yeah. day out today. A little yeah. chilly, but sun was shining, so who cares? <laughs> That's our weatherman, Dave Smith. And tomorrow, it'll probably change. That's right. That's right. That, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. What are, you, what are your plans for this spring? Do you, are you going to garden? What do you do? What do you do? <laughs> you know, uh, this spring, honestly, I might uh, try and clean my car. The front of it, it's got a little bit of grease on it from when I was working on it over the weekend, so wouldn't mind getting that. The, the other three, four months, open. Yeah? <laughs> All right. Well, good. Well, let's move on to things I've noticed. I've noticed. These things I've noticed, yeah. Yeah. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed, yeah. Yeah. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed, yeah. yeah. Oh, come on. All right, these are things I've noticed. Things uh, I've noticed. I've noticed that raising a toddler before they can speak very much is like hosting a feral foreign exchange student who comes from a culture where you don't do your own wiping. I don't know what culture that is, lay off. I've noticed that raisins should be called grape jerky. Right? I've noticed that my iPhone has audio only FaceTime. It's like, dude, just call it mouth time. It's in there. I've noticed that I'd like to know what stubborn dummy out there is calling a spade something other than a spade. <laughs> and finally, no, we're not at finally yet, bonus. I've noticed that the biggest difference between men and women is no man has ever purchased a stock photo of the Eiffel Tower to hang in his apartment. <laughs> That's the difference. And finally, I've noticed that iPad minis, I've noticed that iPad minis were created solely for raffle giveaways. <laughs> things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. These things I've noticed. There's a lot of news out there, but not all of it is necessary. And now it's time for Ooh. the Unnecessary News Network. Welcome, I'm Jeff Houghton. 
And I'm Sarah Jenkins, and you're watching the Unnecessary News Network. It was announced that the HERS building is once again under construction, which means that all the years of pining, hoping for redevelopment will finally... Nothing. It means nothing. <laughs> Express recently opened two locations in Springfield, with the owner saying, our market research indicated that Springfield did not have enough Chinese restaurants. <laughs> also, we've never been to Springfield. Farmer's Market of the Ozarks is set to open soon in the Farmer's Plaza, giving hipsters something to do on Saturday mornings besides knitting that impossibly long scarf. <laughs> This year was the third snowiest winter in 95 years, meaning that this year your co-worker's incessant complaining about the weather was finally justified. Congrats, Linda! Branson has announced that the entertainment season is in full swing underway in Branson. Announcing it online ensures that none of their target audience will see it. It was announced that, this, that the state's largest wind farm is set to open soon in northern Missouri. In other news, a man in northern Missouri was cited for disturbing the peace due to his noxious body odor. The man was asked to vacate his apartment building and was cited for the same offense when he arrived at a nearby business. This just in, the wind farm plans in northern Missouri have been canceled. <laughs> this year, the city of Springfield announced that they spent one million dollars to cover the costs of salting the streets and plowing them, among other things. Here to comment on that is Justice Feltnick, the mayor of nearby small town Bodark. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah, and might I say you're looking wonderful as usual, as is your co-host. You know what's not so wonderful is the city of Springfield throwing money around like they're an ugly boy hoping to get a date at the Sadie Hawkins dance. <laughs> One million dollars? Do you know how far that would go in Bodark? I don't. We don't use American currency. <laughs> I can tell you how much it would cost in our currency. Eleven opossum. And I can tell you that one opossum equals roughly $20. Do you know how much that means we spent on winter in Bodark this year? I don't. I went to school in Bodark. <laughs> one million dollars? Do you know what our early warning system is for inclement weather? We shove my nephew Itchy outside. If he hollers once, it's raining. If he hollers twice, it's snowing. If he hollers three times, the goblins are back. <laughs> If he hollers four times, you want to know what happens? I don't know. I went to school in Bodark. What is four? Is that a number? <laughs> one million dollars? Do you know that one time a man offered to buy the whole town for eight thousand dollars? The whole town. We had to put it up to a citywide vote, but only seven people showed up. But there are only five in the whole town. <laughs> Do you know how many extra people showed up? I don't. <laughs> I'm from Bodog. <laughs> Back to you, Sarah. Thank you. Weatherpages.com recently released a study showing that Springfield has the largest variation in weather of any city in the nation meaning that Springfield is much like that relationship that your friends told you to get out of a long time ago. <laughs> I love you. I hate you. I'm sorry. Take me back. I didn't mean it. Whoops, there's an ice storm. Oh, I'm sorry. You want sunny? Look, it's sunny. Look at that. Oh, no, here's some snow. Deal with it. <laughs> Woo! 
Three men in northwest Missouri recently robbed a bank and were arrested for it, but not before stashing $12,000 in a tree in the countryside. On a related note, the Keebler elves are all of a sudden doing pretty well for themselves. <laughs> And that's the unnecessary news. We'll be back with Grant Wistrom. Welcome back. I'm not even going to fool around because we have such a cool guest tonight. But we also have a great guest sponsor. Big Whiskies. It's way better than small whiskies. <laughs> <clears throat> They're not coming back for us. All right, uh, very, very excited to announce our guest tonight. It's our very first Super Bowl champion, slash national champion, slash college football hall of fame, slash CrossFit owner, slash cool guy all around who's gonna make me look short and weak. Give it up for Grant Wistrom. <laughs> Thanks, Sarah. Have a seat. How are you? I'm fantastic. You have huge mitts. I, it doesn't help out in some scenarios. Sure. You know, <laughs> yeah, may yeah. feel very inadequate at times, but yes. <laughs> I, uh, I'm not gonna ask a follow-up question. Right, please don't. <laughs> so, uh, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having uh, me. Just tell me this, there's, the Super Bowl high, like the biggest athletic achievement you can have. Mm -hmm. And then there's this. Now tell me where to move my hands. <laughs> you didn't bring your post hole digger, did you? <laughs> no. Downstairs. So thankful to be here. Downstairs. Uh, well, yeah, really, truly, thank you for coming on. Um, I don't know where to start with you because you've had so much athletic success and so many interesting things. Um, but let's start. You're from Web City. Yeah. How did you first know, like, hey, uh, I might be really good at football. Um, I never really thought that. Um, it was just wherever I was, I was always just trying to be the best I could be. Yeah. And uh, it just kind of kept building on itself and eventually it, it all worked out. But it was never like some big dream of mine to play in the NFL, it just kind of happened. It didn't seem like a possibility? Never. Really? No, I never thought about it. I just. Like I said, man, it was just wherever I was, it was just like, I'm going to be the best I can be at wherever I'm at. Were you, uh, were you drafted or did you uh, sign as a free agent? Yeah, no, I was drafted as a, uh, the first round pick. Actually, not the first round pick, there's more than one, but. Yeah, uh, the first round pick of the Rams. Yeah, uh, the number six overall. Wow. Wow. That, yeah. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Uh, yeah. It was weird when it happened. Um, the Rams were the losingest team in the decade. Oh yeah. Yeah, and so like being from Missouri and being, you know, six, you know, actually time 21 years old, I was like, I want to get out of Missouri. Right, right. You know, right. I don't want to go to a bad football team. I don't want to live in Missouri anymore. And then the Rams draft me, and I'm like, okay, fantastic. <laughs> Could not have worked out better. Um, so thankful to have got to play most of my career in Missouri and be a Missouri guy playing in Missouri, and then uh, got to win a Super Bowl with the Rams. Right. I mean, it, you didn't have, have to wait long for the, the losingest team of the decade to turn it around. I know. I'd like to think it was all about me. That's right. <laughs> but no, I think uh, you get uh, Kurt Warner. You know, he gets a little from, credit. Yeah, he gets a little bit of credit. Goes from second groceries to NFL MVP. Yeah. Uh, you trade for Marshall Falk. You draft Torrey Holt. Um, you have the greatest show on turf. But it was all about me. Let's be honest. <laughs> it was all about me. But yeah. it is like they're certainly known for uh, offensive being an offensive superpower and. Uh, you as a defensive player, was that like, hey, what about us? Kind of, but I think as a defensive player, that's kind of how you always have to approach the game with a chip on your shoulder and you yeah. always have something to prove and you, you know, 
no offense, kind of a redhead stepkid at times, but uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, we haven't even met yet. Uh, sure. But you know, you, you're out there with always something to prove, always playing with a chip yeah. on your shoulder. Yeah. What is, is there a, I'm, it might be the Super Bowl, but you also won three national championships in college in yep. Nebraska. Is there a moment where you're like, that was the best? Uh, yeah, it was actually after we won the Super Bowl. I mean, and I won two state championships at Web City, three yeah. national championships at Nebraska, and then a Super Bowl. So they all it kept declining? No, it, you know, it's just at whatever level you're at, it is, that's the best, you know? And, right. But winning the Super Bowl, it's like, you know, you come back and they have a parade and like the whole town of St. Louis shut down to have a parade. And, I wish I could remember most of it, but I don't think I drew a sober breath for about 24 hours. Sorry, Mom. <laughs> but, and 24 hours might be you know, cheating myself a little bit yeah. there, but then I go from doing that to judging the Miss USA pageant. Uh, really? What year? Uh, well, 2000, I think we won the Super Bowl. Yeah. Because I was a judge 2001. Were you? Yeah. Man. It's weird. I, Just at home. Wow. <laughs> Just at home. That's the best judge. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody notices your scores then. <laughs> exactly. So, but I had scorecards and everything anyway. <laughs> yeah. So, but that was crazy. It's like the closest I'll ever be to being a rock star. And it yeah. was awesome. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, I would like to see if you could, um, if I'm an offensive lineman, because you've played defensive end, yeah. I would like to see if you could get past me to the quarterback. Can we do this? We can give it a shot. Yeah, come, let's do it. I, I let's don't do know. It. I don't know. Let's do it. So we'll... Had I faced tackles your size, I might have played a couple more years. That's right, but. that's right. So we've got a, a football signed by you signed years by ago. Me. Yeah. Um, and it's going to play quarterback. I don't know. You want to play quarterback? Dave, get up here. Get up here, Dave. Oh, Dave's playing wow. quarterback. Good call. Good evening, man. Well, I see it. I kind of close the rest. We won't. Stop talking well, to each other. <laughs> Just but I always have here. my kids when I'm in Toys R Us. Can we just preface it with yeah, that? Yeah, so right. the quarterback, it's, and you just play, don't hang out there. Your defensive end, did you, which? Uh, I was on the right side, okay. so I don't, I don't know where. Can yeah, so go. I'm playing uh, left tackle. Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Yeah, so uh, if you want to get past me, then uh, <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to stop you from getting past me. You can tackle him. Dave, I, I, I all right. We're good? Oh. Yeah, so right. uh, I don't know why we're doing this. Actually, I get to work now because of what I did playing football. I get to work now at the Green County SWAT, doing kind of teaching these, working with them on these sorts of things. So it's pretty really? cool, man. Yeah. That's yeah. really neat. All powerful. right. Uh, so here's our, my final word <laughs> ever. I think you're the safe one. Dave might be in trouble. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, just whatever you have to do to get past me, All right. and then uh, tackle Dave. Ready? You say, you say hike. All right. Wait, wait, what's my, what's my stance? You kind of, yeah, yeah. exactly, nailed it. And you, did you often stand up? Oh, you... well, well, no, I was usually this, this okay. way myself, giving it my best side. Okay. Okay. What did I say? There's a number. What? Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> thanks for thanks for coming on. Absolutely. I really appreciate it. If you want me to sign this back to you or anything, I'd be happy to. <laughs> sure. Uh, but uh, anyway, thanks. For, I'm excited that you uh, decided to make Springfield your home, and you got a cool CrossFit going on. You'll have to uh, check that out. Here, What's the man. website for that? Uh, CrossFitSpringfield.com. CrossFit-Springfield.com. Cool. Of course, there's a big difference. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it, Jeff. Thank we'll you. We'll be back with Jared Myers. Tonight's musical guest is brought to you by School of Rock. All right, you guys. All right. Man, that uh, Grant Wistrom, he is towering. <laughs> All right, we have a great musical guest, and his name is Jaron Myers. Take it away, Jaron. your post and got it framed it's hanging on my bedroom wall 
And I'm not ashamed that you're 43 and I'm 19, just a number after all. She picked me out of all the other emails she received. She opened mine, now we're together. I'm more excited for forever. Just me and her and her daughter. But she didn't mention in her ad when I found my girl on Craigslist. Courage, you used your real email, even though you might get spam. Said you're a working girl. Well, that's good because I don't have a real job, I'm just a music man. She picked me out of all the other emails she received. She opened mine, now we're together. I'm more excited for forever. Just me and her and her daughter She didn't mention in her app but I know she's the one Cause she loves the outdoors She loves to travel To see her family in Singapore She's fun and outgoing Easy on the eyes I know she's attractive Cause Craigslist never lies It might be awkward Cause your daughter graduated before me And I might become her dad <laughs> But love is about Making sacrifices I'm okay with that <laughs> She picked me Out of all the other emails she received she opened mine, now we're together I'm more excited for forever Just me and her and her daughter But she didn't mention in her app When I found my girl on Craigslist That was funny That song made me feel bad about the comedy we provided the rest of the show. <laughs> hey, hey, that's our show for tonight. Just so you guys know, 10% of our box office proceeds tonight go to MSU Relay for Life. Up next is another great show on Fox KRBK. We'll see you guys next week. Catering for the show brought to you by Big Whiskey's Restaurant and Bar.